So good morning everyone from El Nido here in Palawan, Philippines. Today we've got a very exciting day today because we're going to the best spots in El Nido via a group tour. Now we did a private tour boat where it was just the two of us and we had a couple of local Filipinos uh, and this time we're going on a group tour where there could be anywhere up to 20 of us. Now, 20, up to 25. Up to 25, which 20, is 20 a lot of people. Um, it's currently half seven in the morning, so it's very early. And we are on our way to now to meet the whole group. So not a clue what the group's going to be like. Um, no, yeah, no idea. Yeah. Mixed ages. Yeah, I mean, we did see a lot of tour groups yesterday yes. and they were kind of where our age. So yeah. hopefully it's going to be the same thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm excited to go and see the best spots in El Nido. So regardless of the group size, it should be fun. Yeah, we do. Doing... Go on. I was just going to say, we're doing it with Dream Tours today. so. Um, we'll let you know if it's any good and if we recommend it as well, obviously. Yeah, um, you will have seen if you watched the previous vlog uh, where we bought the tickets in the first place. Uh, we do get food and drinks and stuff on the boat itself, so that is yeah. including the price. Um, at the end of the vlog, I'll let you know how much we paid uh, compared to the private tour at the end. And I'll give you just a, an overall opinion of whether you should or not should get a group tour or a private tour and the cost differences so yeah and if the good and if the destinations are good we hear yeah. we hear they are and they look amazing on pictures so hopefully you get the drone up at some point yeah. today as well it's not I windy, guess we'll so go and see first stop however is coffee Hi, good morning thank you oh it's nice in here Ooh, lovely here oh hey Maybe. Does that mean they don't use cows now? Maybe. Hi, can I grab a, an oat latte, please? Cut or a, a hot, please, for a few. Uh, take away. You happy you got your coffee now? Yes. Oat by default. That is honestly one of the hardest things to find in the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> is it? Yeah, she looks everywhere for oat milk, but I can never find it, so I think but she's glad. There. Yeah, that's my only favourite place, I think. As you can tell, it's still really busy around here. It might be half seven in the morning, but it's bloody busy. <laughs> yeah. So for the first time ever, we're early and there's nobody else here. So we're going with Dream Tours. Um, these guys here and we're literally the only ones here. I mean, that never happens. We are never the first ones here. If anything, we're always the last ones because she takes ages with everything she's always late so the fact that the first one's here it's uh it means something's wrong basically because she's never this early but we've got our coffees i've gone for a spanish coffee which i've never had a spanish coffee before it's just a bit sweeter i feel like there's a bit more condensed milk in there it's actually really nice so i mean i'm glad i've got it um but yeah i guess now we've got to wait uh they said to get here for around 8.40, no, 8.30 to 8.40 and it's now 8.20 so we've only got about 10, 20 minutes to wait so it's not too bad really. Okay. We've got sun cream in there, 4.50. That's not bad is it? So we're now just following our guide down to the pickup spot and oh my god there are so many boats here. Like obviously we arrived yesterday around, I think it was what? 12, 1 o'clock. Yeah. So all of these boats were out to sea and my god there are so many here. We were, here, we were on the beach until about 4pm though yeah. but didn't see half as many boats here. No. So yeah that's crazy. Yeah. They get back at like 5 or 6 maybe. Yeah that is a lot of boats and a lot of tours so. But yeah maybe we just put, like, picked a bad day to yeah. <laughs> Very busy today but good though I'm excited. I guess this is our group here maybe. Nice. Nice nice nice. They're not huge to be honest. Yeah, nice. Good group. That's a nice group, actually. <laughs> so now, time is now. Um, 8.45 and we're waiting in this waiting area and there's a lot of people turning up. Um, but everyone has these different colour stickers and we haven't seen too many people with this colour yet so hopefully we're okay. There's a lot of pinks yeah, there. Well so we didn't even know what colour this was at first. Is it orange? Is it coral? Is it red? It's orange <laughs> apparently so. Yeah I mean there's tour A, B, C and D so I guess these stickers represent each different tour. Um, so it'd be interesting to see. It could maybe be all doing tour C but just loads of people on the boats. Oh, we don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, not sure, but uh, hopefully there's not too many people on there. Um, 
So originally when I said that was our tour group outside, that wasn't our tour group. They went on a different boat, so <laughs> gutted because they look like a fun group. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll see in a moment. I know those guys definitely are in our tour group, so it should be alright. <laughs> Wow, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, I don't think there's too many on the orange colour, so I think we might be okay, but oh my god, look how many people there are. Insane. Oh, good, thank you. No, thank you. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? How much are your bags? Uh, 300 dollars. Hey. Yeah. What's your name? What color are you? Uh, C, orange. What boat are you? Uh, C? You mean uh, boat assignment? Uh, not they, already, they already called you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think he's our guy. Did you just follow him out? I'm not sure. <laughs> to have our boat. So please kindly double check all your things. Uh, all your uh, your pocket. If you have some cell phone, wallet, please remove it. Put inside in your bag, okay? So then this is our group. And we've got to walk over there to get onto the boat, so through the sea and onto the boat up there. Um, but yeah, this is our group, probably about 20, 30 people, so quite a lot, but should be okay, hopefully. I'm scared to see how deep this is going to go. Hey? Gonna go. Yeah. So we've got to walk quite a long way to our boat over there, and it gets quite deep actually, as you can see that guy okay, just so down let's there. Let's go, we're close now already. Let's go. See you tomorrow, my boys. How deep it's going to go, Dad? It's a bit cold. Yeah. Oh, it's cold. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just touched, you know what? <laughs> oh. It's like really cold. <laughs> oh, it's cold. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. It's a good day. A few clouds here and there, but I think they should pass. I think it should be a clear day yeah. the whole day. It's not windy at all no. either. We should be on the boat in a second. I'll show you what the boat's like. Um, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be exactly like that one, UMI. So yeah, the company we're with is UMI. That's uh, the tour company, as you can see on the side of the boat there. Um, but yeah, oh. Oh, as you can see, it's quite actually a long walk. Whew. Let's go. <laughs> She's struggling. Thanks, mate. Oh, and here we have the boat. How you doing, you right? Let's go down here. Oh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. So then, this is the boat. Not yet full of people. But we love checkers on here, which we'll have to put on at some point. Um, yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's a pretty big boat. Another beautiful day of your holiday here at El Nido Palawan. So here at in your destination vacation, the super fragilistic island scarshan. This is El Nido Palawan, the Philippines. You're our safe heaven. So are you ready for this adventure? Yes. Okay, thank you very much for that wonderful mm. cooperation. So put your hands up in the air and wave your hands. And clap your hands for yourself. Because you are lucky because you have me. Yeah. We're off skis. Finally we're off. Finally. I'm not entirely sure where we're going first, but I mean he said there was five or six stops. Five or six stops. Quite a few then. Yeah, no idea. Yeah. We'll see and find out. So the first stop is Helicopter Island, which is just over there, and it actually does look like a helicopter from the side of. Yeah, yeah. the back where the propellers and the big bit the front. Yeah. So they weren't lying when it said look helicopter because it actually does. Um, it took us about 10 minutes to get from the port to this first stop, so it's not too far away. Uh, people are just getting photos on the boat. Um, Although there's a lot of people on this boat, it's actually quite chill at the moment. It's not too bad. It's really nice as well. They yeah. kind of do a lot of ice breakers. Yeah. So you meet people at Dorky every time. Uh -huh. But yeah, first stop, we're roughly about five minutes away. Um, and we'll see what the see what's like on the boat. We'll get a drone up and uh, have a look. But yeah, stop number one, helicopter island.
This looks like a helicopter. But when we came, so you see the shape. It's not look like a helicopter. There's a lot of kind of shape, right? It looks like a whale, like a shoes, like sleeping Buddha, like a sleeping giant. But the locals are living here before in Alido. They believe the shape of the island is like a sleeping giant. Yeah. But the but the island has a original name of the municip on the municipal map. So we call this island the Lomagat Island. That means not moving. The Lomagat. So we've safely made it onto Helicopter Island. Dan is actually just staying on the boat so he can fly the drone and see if he can get some drone shots which hopefully we can add here if they're any good. But, I mean, there's not too much going on on this island. There is a snorkeling spot over here. So it does look really popular for snorkeling, which we will jump in in a sec and grab our snorkel stuff and let's see if there's any good marine life and coral reefs. But yeah, it's really busy at the minute. And this is the first stop. So we're expecting kind of every stop to be this busy, but it's a really pretty, island here helicopter island and there's just a random boat there which i'm not too sure why and it looks like there's a little lookout point over there as well so if we can go up there we might and yeah really nice can't wait to jump in and snorkel <laughs> Yeah, this is a uh, helicopter island. So there's not too much to do on here really, unless you're snorkeling. Um, the sand is a bit stony, but I mean, it's not bad. Not bad for the first stop anyway. We've just been snorkeling. There really wasn't much to see in a snorkeling spot. Um, the coral reefs are a bit, a little bit dead. So uh, yeah, there's not too much to see, but it's a nice stop for sure. Um, obviously you can see there's so many people here though. So yeah, that is uh, Helicopter Island. We're now gonna get back on the boat and head to stop number two. So yeah, we had 40 minutes here, which is quite enough time. Um, there's not much, too much to do here. So looking forward to stop number two now, actually, wherever that may be. Low so Shrine the over there. We'll snorkeling. be going there shortly. But we're going later. We're gonna go for snorkeling first, and after that, lunch. Then after here, after okay. Secret Beach. Oh, yes. Oh, so a bit of a snorkel later. first. The main activity there is hiking there at the cliff. If you're seeing all the view of this scenery. Ah. So that's the Matin Low Shrine. Yeah. We go there later. Okay. But first, let's go for snorkeling. So then, this is Star Beach going out getting in snorkeling um, i'll get the drone up and see what it looks like from above as well it looks lovely the sea is so clear and blue isn't it we're here for 30 to 40 minutes making the snorkeling activity and picture taking So we're not actually allowed to go on the beach. Um, that's private property of a yachting club apparently over there. Um, but we can snorkel through here. I mean, look at the drop off there. It looks so cool. Um, but yeah, no beach on this one. Um, we'll get the drone up, but yeah, I mean, wow, this is insane.
incredible. Oh my god, the sea is so blue. And oh my god, it's so nice. We've got Beth over here snorkeling. It's so clear, but the visibility is amazing. But yeah, this is currently our afternoon. Oh wow, look at it, it's so nice. Oh my god. I just can't believe how blue this place is. Like the sea, the water is so clear. Um, and then after this, we're gonna have some lunch, which I can't wait for. I'm so hungry, so. Yeah, oh, the perfect afternoon. This spot is really nice, isn't it? It's amazing. So You've got good. beauty in the background as well, so it like makes the whole experience really fun. Yeah, perfecto. <laughs> What's this place called? Elisa Beach, sir. Elisa Beach. So, welcome here to Putan Island, Elisa Beach. <laughs> the best. Yeah. And we're going to have some food yeah, as well. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, this place looks incredible again. So, we've only moved, we haven't moved very far. We were previously just over there, um, and now we've come like a five minute journey around here. And Little Cove is very busy here. There's a lot of people here, but I mean, wow. Some guys selling coconuts and beers down there as well, which is nice. It's food time. Oh wow, we've got so much. Shrimp, chicken, spring rolls, noodles, fruits, maybe pork or beef, maybe pork, yeah. We still haven't figured out pork. You get confused sometimes, don't you? Maybe you have a food allergy, you know? So first I'm going to tell you our food of the day. It's all about the power of Philippines. The rice. Yeah. That's the power of Filipino. We call this in English rice sauces. Yeah. We also have the cousin of rice. That is the rice noodle. In Tagalog we call that pancit. Sit, sit, sit. Pancit. Yeah. We also have a best friend of lobster, the shrimpster. Yeah. <laughs> We also have the grilled chicken, you can call that chicken stir. And of course we have the fruits, this is an anana, this is a pineapple under the sea and the sweetest melon, sweet cold watermelon. We have the next vegetable over there and we have the fried chicken, this one spring rolls, this is pork, yeah. And the head of fish, that's tuna, uh, there are one only. One, two, tuna, two, yeah. We also have, what else, stir fried vegetable. And else, soy sauce for the sauce. The soy sauce, we call this soap number five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's the food. We're on the island. Really? So we're now finished eating. We're going to go and check out the island over there because I think there is some shops and stuff. But my god. Look at that. So clear, like crystal clear. Beth's found herself a little shop over here in the corner under the shade. What have we got? Oh, really? Yeah. What is there? So as you may or may not be able to read, it's a Talisay beach. So the shrine is over there somewhere. Um, but oh my God, look how nice that is. Yeah, so many boats. Yeah, everyone stops here for lunch. Like you've got people eating lunch over there, down there, on the boat. And it's hot now, isn't it? Needs some more sun cream on, I think. Yeah, I'm not sick that. They do have a lot of these little shops, but I'm not entirely sure if they've got much on them. Um, they look just like crisps and drinks, really. So that it means like we have another energy this afternoon. 
Are you ready for more adventure? Yes. Oh uh, yeah, so we're going to proceed now to our stop number four. So that is located there at the mountain of island and we are going to exploring the secret beach. Yeah. Are you ready to see the secret? Yes. Okay, do you know where's the secret? Surprise. Yeah. Hip hip. Right then, so now we've got to one of the coolest spots here. It's a secret beach and basically you have to get there by swimming underneath the caves and it's over in there. So I'll get the drone up and show you, but my God, this is cool because like you can only access it by this little hole. And if it's high tide and really wavy, you can't access it because that hole gets covered up. So, I mean, this is wicked. I've never been in like a little secluded beach like this before. We access it by caves, but this was a first. I can't see anything. You can go first maybe and like help us through it. See, as I was saying, you can only access this cave when the sea is calm and the tide's out, because otherwise it gets full and there's literally zero access. So it looks so this cool. This is literally the only entrance as well. Here we go. <laughs> There's such a string for us. Yeah. <laughs> There's string under the water here. I'm assuming you had to help us pull ourselves through or something. <laughs> 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 I think it's meant to get shallow, but right now it's not. Wow. It's so, as you can see, it's so busy. But where's the shallowness then? It's really deep. It's really deep. <laughs> it's really deep. <laughs> How deep is it right now? Uh, I can't touch the floor yet. Oh, there's a rock here. So maybe just over there, get shallower. Oh, I can see. Yeah. Touch the rock. There's some rocks. Oh. Oh, I can, oh yeah, here. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, look at the rock. <laughs> okay. They came out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm literally exhausted. Oh, it was quite a hard spin. Oh, it was, isn't it? Yeah. So awkward. Oh my god. And this, so look how busy it is. This is insane. Oh. As you can see, these are all the group tours. Yeah. Here. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> off this one. So, yeah, the group tours are in now, so it's super, super busy. I don't even know when a good time to come here. Maybe like the first stop? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> hey, look, look. Oh my god, look at all that. It's a lot of people in there. Yeah. I mean, I can't say it's a relaxing experience. No, definitely not. Busy and loud. Exhibit A. I mean, it's cool though. You've actually got like a little beach up there and some sun, but I mean, yeah, just way too many people here. Way too many. How'd you find it? It's nice. But I mean, it would be so much more nice if there was less people. Yeah. Again, I don't know if that's just because Philippines, the tourists in Philippines, like there's so many, I can't get my words out, so many tourists in Philippines. Yeah. But I mean, this would be nice if it wasn't Timothy. I agree. It's really cool. Like, even though it's busy, it doesn't take away from the fact that it's sick, but it's very, yeah. very busy. This is the busiest stop we've had on the whole tour. Um, so, I mean, we've got lucky in some places, but just unlucky here, really. Cool, though. So this is what the beach area looks from up close. You've got a fair few people there. Um, not too many actually down there, just chilling out, lying down. Um, nice little spot to sunbathe down there. Get some zeds in if you need some. It's actually really, really rocky here. There's like, it's just, the entire thing is rocks and shallow, yeah. So if you do come here, make sure to bring some good shoes because otherwise your feet are gonna get ripped apart. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's cool, really cool. Today, so we were supposed to go to a place called Hidden Beach, uh, 
um, but unfortunately that is closed because uh, apparently there's a big cruise ship or no, there's a TV series being filmed there called Survivor. So they've closed the whole place off, which is annoying because we didn't get told about that before. Um, yeah, when we you still it. have to pay full price even though we have, we're obviously not stopping at that stop, which is a bit frustrating. Yeah, I like it. it was, they should have told us when we booked yesterday. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I've still had a really good day. Yeah, it's so. been amazing. It's just a shame that we couldn't put that one in. Yeah. But yeah. We get to do another one at some point. Yeah, we will. We'll do another boat tour at some point. Um, but for now, we are on the way back to the harbour back in El Nido. And from there, we'll disembark, say goodbye to everyone, and go and get some food and call it a night for the evening. So, yeah, I mean, so we've got like an hour's journey from here until there until we're back. And then we'll give our overall thoughts and let you know the price and everything. And uh, yeah, hope we make it back safely. Right then, we're pretty much back where we started, maybe eight or nine hours later, uh, and that is the boat ride done. So that was tour C. So usually uh, if you're booking a big group, you get the option at four. We chose tour C because it was most popular and the stops we wanted were on there, apart from the hidden beach, which was annoying, but. Yeah, that was annoying. Hey ho, I mean, so we paid 1,600 each for this in comparison to the private tour in Caron, which was around 3,600 each, yes. so. The 1,600 does include a 200 pesos environmental fee. Yeah. Ecotourism fee, something like that. Yeah. Um, apparently, which you have to have on every island. Yeah, but the, it's, we didn't get checked it though, so I'm not sure the legit... The, legitimacy. The, the legitimacy of that. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if we got kind of scammed or not. You guys have to let us know. Um, but yeah, if you already had that, then you can pay 1,400, mm -hmm. um, which is not bad at all. So around 20 pounds mm -hmm. for With a whole food, day. Food included, transport, really fun guides. Yeah, the food um, is really good as well. Food's really nice. Yeah, and they had loads, like enough for everyone. So even for seconds. Yeah, and you could also obviously rent um, snorkels and shoes if you needed to for a couple hundred pesos. But yeah, all in all, I had a really good day. Yeah, so really enjoyed it. are the big tour groups worth it? Yes and no. Like if you want mm. the cinematic Instagram content where no one's on the beaches, then definitely not. Uh, you'll have to go private if you want that. But if you're happy to meet people, get some good content anyway um, and deal with crowds then it's fine yeah it's there's definitely it's definitely busier yeah definitely busier on a group tour but we made really good friends today we did so you do meet people yeah so i guess that is it for today uh so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one